Hello everyone, welcome to my tapping channel. Today we're going to do some tapping to help you get unstuck, to remove the trapped feeling, the, the chains that are holding you back, or at least start on removing those things anyway, because when we're doing this kind of work, often we get to a wall or a ceiling and we just can't push through it. And there's often a belief, a core belief, really deep down, that's actually telling you that you just can't do it for whatever reason it is and I'm just going to tap today on what the most common reasons are and what the most common reason I found actually is before we dive in though my name is Sandra I'm the author of tapping into abundance using EFT tapping and the law of attraction to change your mindset and turn your life around and if you want to do just that hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one consult with me to get clear about what it is that is keeping you stuck and you're looking to do some coaching, then I offer a free 30 minute clarity session. This clarity session is just to help you get clear about what is keeping you stuck. And then we can have a chat about uh, how you can go about becoming unstuck. And this can be an area of your life that it's particularly about you not being able to be who you are, to be not moving forward in your life the way that you want to move forward in your life. And you just know that there's beliefs down there that are keeping you stuck. There's a link in the description field below this video for how you can book that free 30 minute session. I also have a free masterclass called How to Heal Your Shadow Through Balancing Your Energy Centers. And that's a 40 minute video. And you can download that and get access to that via the link in the description field below this video or you can go to my website and have a look at my freebies tab and see what other freebies are available for you. So today we're going to do some tapping on that feeling of being trapped. I know personally that this feeling is often behind anxiety and often when we're feeling anxiety or going to you know a bit of a panic that kind of thing that it's often a feeling of being trapped, that there's nothing you can do. You can't escape. You can't get away from whatever it is that you're usually telling yourself is the situation. And sometimes it is a real situation that causes these feelings. But a lot of the time it's perceived. It's not necessarily real. And when you get to this layer, you can then start to chip away at it so that it's not keeping you feeling so stuck anymore. We come from a world where as children we had people basically, you know, creating our parameters for us. And while children need parameters, as adults we need to break away from some of those things now. And so we can often feel like there's some sort of force or some sort of pressure out there. Maybe it's a, a deity or maybe it's just a sense that there's something or someone that just doesn't want you to get ahead. And there's this feeling of being trapped that no matter what you do, no matter how much tapping you do, no matter what, how much hypnotherapy you do or any other modality, that it just doesn't seem to want to move. And then there can be a fear of even going down and facing this ultimate fear. So we're going to tap on that today. I have found personally that a lot of this has to do with feeling that the pressure is coming from without rather than it coming from within, but it actually is coming from within. It isn't anything outside of yourself, but we've grown up believing that it is because as children it was. <laughs> but as adults, a lot of the time we're blocking ourselves. So let's go with the karate chop point repeating after me. Even though I'm feeling so stuck, I'm okay. Even though I'm feeling trapped, I'm going to honor how I feel. Even though I feel like I'm trapped and it feels real, I don't like it. I'm going to honor how I feel anyway. Tapping on the points, this feeling of being stuck.
trapped almost. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to move. Like I'm trapped. And stuck. Maybe I've tried everything. Still feeling stuck. And I don't like it. I feel the anxiety in it. Maybe even anger. Like there's some force out there. It doesn't want me to be free. It's like there's some force out there. It doesn't want me to be free. done so much. Tried all sorts of things. Still feeling stuck. Still feeling trapped. Spinning my wheels. like a hamster feeling this feeling of something telling me I can't be free I can't move forward I can't expand. It's an old program. And it's been running a long time. I don't want it anymore. I'd like to let it go. It's time to let it go. So what if I'm allowed to be free? What if I'm allowed to expand. What if I'm allowed to move forward? What if I can be free? What if I'm allowed to be free? What if I can be free and safe at the same time? What if I can be free and safe at the same time? What if I can move forwards?
and be safe at the same time. What if I can expand and be safe at the same time? What if I can be free and be safe at the same time? What if I'm allowed to move forward? What if it's okay to expand? What if Spirit, God, Goddess wants me to be free? I was just holding myself up. Take a nice deep breath and letting it out. Now you may need to tap on that a fair few times, but really have a look and see what the actual belief is behind it all that's making you feel stuck, like you can't move forward or you're feeling trapped, that no matter what you do, what you think of, what action you even take, you don't seem to be moving ahead. You don't seem to be getting where you want to go. Have a look at these beliefs, particularly the ones that tell you you're not allowed, particularly around some sort of force like a, a society or a deity or God or spirit. Ha have a look at those beliefs because the truth is you're here to expand. You're here to be free. You're here to discover how to create in this world and to totally step into your power and do that. And these beliefs, it's time for them to go. We've had these beliefs with humanity for a very, 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 very long time and it's time they left because we need to be creating a very, very beautiful life for ourselves and not getting caught up with all of these restrictions that we're facing every day in the mundane world and in our consciousness. So let me know in the comments how you go with that tapping. Let me know in the comments if there's any particular type of uh, theme or belief you'd like uh, to have a tapping video about so that I can do more videos that suit what your needs are. All of my videos are really about all of the negative beliefs that you would have that are keeping you stuck not being who you truly are and that can be a huge range of things that's why there's a huge range of videos on my channel and when I work with people one-on-one -on -one, I work with a range of things that people are feeling stuck with in their lives because of these negative beliefs and patterns that are holding them back so whether it's holding you back from um, the career you want the love you want the health you want often these beliefs are actually what's keeping you stuck so if you want to book a 30 minute clarity session with me, link in the description field below this video. And if you want to do some work on tapping on your own, I do have a course called the wheels of empowerment. And that's a four month course where you use tapping at each chakra level to deal with the negative beliefs that are actually held energetically within each chakra, because believe it or not, at each chakra, there is a theme. And we hold beliefs on those themes at each chakra level. And that creates energetic issues with our health and particularly with our ability to truly be who we are in the world. So have a look at the Wheels of Empowerment. There's a link in the description field below this video. A lot of people have gone through that course now and have found it to be truly uh, liberating when it comes to removing those beliefs. You can also... If you like the video, hit the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Sandra and I'll see you on the next video.